him. Well, let's start with a pistol round. If they can win that, it will be a very good start. They're on the CT side. Complexity are on the T side. And they're getting some good yard spacing out here. Good control. There's a P250 in the back. Blamer for two stunning headshots to bring down, well, everyone, it seems. A third kill out there for Blamer. Exit trying to do the best that he can. That's actually, that's such calm tracking in the face of pretty much certain death. He's just doing it slowly. But in the end, it's a one versus three here for the main or remaining MIBR player. Oh, and he's going to stop the bomb from going in. One more headshot. Can he get it on there in this attack? He's in the corner. He's low on health. And the reload is in. He's got him trapped, but he can't. Ping in. He's yes. just catching them. They have no idea. All right. Scout has been picked up by Woody. Oh, JKS is already down. He made it to lower through the vents. Is this going to catch off bolts, though? Because complexity is coming right towards secret. And bolts, he might not have an opportunity here. Peek his head up. Instantly taken off. Decapitated, in fact. Just a question of timing, isn't it? When you're in that position, you really... I mean, one second earlier, maybe they're all looking the wrong way. So, unfortunate. Oh, nice little deagle there. Could have maybe been a double even. But ultimately... It'll be complexity to secure the round. And Woody out here with the scout, hoping to, to keep it alive. He never even got to fire it. Wow, this is... Okay, he actually got into mini. That's... This was an interesting path that he took. Yeah. He almost died, but it looks like he'll, he'll make it out now. And complexity yeah. will get there second on the board. So this AI prediction. Yes. It's got 99%. Uh, yeah, and you wanted to be zero. Now it is. Now it is zero. Okay. I think there is a point at which, obviously, if they don't have a diffuse kit, mm -hmm. then just the time it's that it takes. It's literally impossible. Yeah, the time that it would take to travel there yeah. and to diffuse is, it, you know, it just makes it impossible. But as long as they have time, I think it just always assigns the one percent. And I think that's, that's there. We go. Yeah, that's why CS is beautiful, though. Yeah, I mean, we've seen, especially on Newt, right? We've seen those ninja diffuses before, if, if or lack if, thereof, or lack thereof. Well. Rip, French counter. Oh. Woody, he's down and out. He got to use the scout this time, just didn't actually hit anyone. Yeah. This should be a pretty clean one from Complexity, though. Already off to a better start than they were on Ancient. And I was, I was curious. We saw Exit there at the opposite vent on the pistol round. He had that excellent sequence of tracking. So smooth. Yeah. 800 effective DPI. So 800 DPI, 1.0 cents. Pretty kind of low, but also not, I was gonna not, say. not too low. So just calm, just good nerves. You see right there also, he's just he's very smooth with his mouse movements. It's, it's actually pretty pleasing to watch him play. 801.0 is, I feel like when they're that close, that's a challenge. Mm -hmm. That's that's gonna that's where the problem occurs. But he, he handled it really well. I myself 801.6 for the, for the memes, you know. Wow. Not. Not because I think it's necessarily the best, but I just, you know. I just think, well, I don't know. I've got used to playing with it. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I'm a little lower. I'm a little lower. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I actually use 550 effective DP, or 550 DPI, and I use 1.7 cents. So it's actually 770 effective. All right. It's basically 1.968. Okay. I, it's weird. It's weird, and I've been using it for five years, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to replicate, but fair enough. I mean, I, I do sometimes wonder about it, because actually... Yeah, he, he did track that. It's always, I think more than anything, one thing is the mechanical tracking, but it's the keeping cool part that's so hard to do, right? It's not freaking out, which, um, I don't know, no amount of m tinkering with your sensitivity will save you from that. <laughs> you have to do that differently. Fourth round, we've got a lot of M4A1s. In fact, that's all we have. Ooh. Little off angle there being played at ramp. By B area. That angle is almost always good for one. Sometimes you'll get traded, but if it's a single lurk out, you're pretty much guaranteed the frag. But complexity are making their way back to this ramp player. And we're gonna see the ramp peak as the tag will swing out. B area might have a timing here. Oh, just barely misses, but they're hot on his heels. He's going to get back down below at the very least, so he doesn't get caught on the ramp itself. 
cold Sierra now gonna go check hell with JKS as well so they look at 45 seconds where are they gonna go they're making a lot of noise so I feel like that's making it a bit more readable perhaps for MIBR realizing yeah they could be coming up from heaven 35 seconds oh, the bomb is um <clears throat> still kind of outside of the bomb site cold has got it slowly walking up Molotov is gonna land on top of them that is really awkward with the time that is left you could see He's carrying that bomb. Oh, it spreads Ooh. down on the ladder. Oh, no. He's 28 health. They've got to go right now into the bomb site. A lot of rifles waiting for them. And they're going to get chewed up just even trying to get in there. Incredible triple for bolts. And time has run out. Eight seconds left. They cannot win this round. Is an excellent spot from bolts. But it is useless if they're coming in from hut at the same time. Yeah, that's a good point. He was banking on that. And it turned out he was right. Molotov in that corner can can sometimes delay a smoke or create a big gap in it. Didn't seem to really do the job this time, but it's still a pretty good idea. MIBR winning that first round on the CT side, though. That's got to feel good, too. They even steal the one AK-47 there on total. But look at how many people have got down the lower part of the map here for complexity. Yeah, already four there. We've got JKS lurking it towards Lobby. The door is open, so we can cut off any sort of vent rotations. Turtle might want this challenge. Oh, he's jiggling for it. But the primary hit will be towards lower. JKS, he does find the kill on a turtle. Now Woody, jump spotting, forced away. Now Complexity have so much control here. Woody, he's playing a great off angle. He's going to have to come up big. Walks right in, perfect timing, grenade in hand, but he needed to get that kill instantly. S attack is there to bring him down. Now... We are coming into it with a pretty good kill for the smoke and an even better follow-up. He's looking for more. He's actually just pre-firing that angle. He knew Bolts is on his own, though. But there's only about 30 seconds left. And the bomb, it's down in the smoke somewhere. So they need to do something. He's out in the open. He actually knew that was coming, too. He's looking for the headshot, but he's not getting... Am I doing it? Yeah, yeah. That's. I, I just say the R with a kind of a Portuguese style, and I, apparently that's good enough. All right. Will we ever find out? If it's not, I wonder. <laughs> Maybe when we return all the way to land, we can really yes. interrogate them about that. MP9 down here. It's actually it's a pretty interesting setup. That means that they're about to have three people in yard. Or close to. Yeah, this is a u unique setup for MIBR. And complexity look to be going for some late outside smokes. But they send Blame F on a solo mission. Bolts could receive him. Blame F is making this hard. Bolts, wow, he's getting really cheeky. He's getting in front of the Molotov. I don't know if Blame F is going to expect this. Oh, but he's given up his position. This is still a big fight. But Bolts got so much intel there that there was only a single player. Blame F, he's getting peppered with utility. But this means that the ramp is open for the taking. What a move by Bolts. Yeah, you're right. He, they should know. That something is coming and otherwise complexity could have kept on pretending like it was three or four people outside but now they can't they've get, got control of rampant hell like earlier but is that really going to help them out bolts in a very big off angle here that's kind of hard to check poison though is trying for it he's still going to be going down bolts with even more damage on the s attack it's looking pretty decent right now that is the bomb dropped in a really awkward position and they're getting shut down from exit here finding his third kill leaving blame f alone low on health from earlier that I mean, I don't know if it's hard to say with Bolt, right? Because in terms of kills, this wasn't necessarily his round or anything, but I think that is that is a big play. He provided so much information to his team, and they were able to reroute themselves to defend the eventual ramp hit. If Complexity went down the ramp, there was a case that they could have taken the B bomb site. Yeah. It would have been a difficult retake for MIBR, but Complexity, they've been focused. not ideal for Complexity. We see a couple of Deagles, a Galil on s -Tag, and yet MIBR for themselves have, have an excellent buy. Yeah, they are actually doing fine. Got a couple of AKs there on the CT side. That's always very helpful. Many of the nades. Kind of already tossed out here from MIBR. So, potentially to try and stop any kind of a rush or anything. Poison's down low with the Deagle. Might not be such a such a terrible thing. Obviously, just trying to get some, some fight going on there towards ramp. And MIBR, pretty common setup right now. Yeah, it's very default. 
complexity. It looks like they want to throw some outside smokes at this point. And that might cause a rotation. There's no one from MRBR that's on the lower site. But they might have to send somebody. And it's Woody. Okay. Oh, he fakes it. Yeah. That's wow. Interesting. That's a call. Oh, man. They, they have everybody ready for an A hit now. They do. And it's not like Complexity have anyone on the T roof to throw in all the nades normally, which at least you'd get like a really good ceiling flashbang to come in and blind someone. That's probably not going to happen here. This could be a bit of a slaughter. 25 seconds. Molotov into the corner. Turtle just walks right out to take down JKS. 20 seconds now on the clock, and they're walking into a giant crossfire, and they don't even know it. Woody is going to be going down. It's Blamef, though, coming in with a double of his own. Bolt's trying to look for it. 12 seconds on the clock, and he knows someone has escaped. Bolt, he's just going to give up on that fight, running down to chase him. Oh, the bomb is on the other side, but he knows. All he has to do is find him, and he probably wins the round. He's going to chase him down, go straight for the defuse, and I'm not sure. Bolt's can he get the job done? Cold Zero's on the outside. Maybe he could have had it. Now the smoke is going to be going up. Oh, go with the headshot to bring it. It's complexity that bring it all the way back. Yeah, and I think Blame F finding two kills after Cold helps open up that bomb site. I mean, I, and I love Bolts. We just, we've just been praising him for his decision making. But the fact that he gave up on the upper part of that fight to just jump down and follow the bomb essentially, that is very cool. Attempted aggression there. Cold will shut it down. This is looking like a hot start now for complexity. Yeah, they, they feel in control. And they are. It's just a couple of pit upgraded pistols for MIBR. And they're not in any really strong setup to try to make use of their numbers. And Blamef is finding out a lot of information. It looks like complexity will just slowly dispatch of one MIBR player after the other and should move themselves to a sixth. Yeah, starting to look just... just very smooth for a... at least a good first half. Don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, I suppose. But final map would be overpass. So, is that good or bad news, you think, for MIBR in terms of, uh, of playing a third map? Uh, I don't think it's... I think they want to end it in two. Yeah. I think their, their greatest chance of victory is not to go to a third. I mean, on that map, someone like Poison, I think, just becomes so much harder to deal with. Wonder if they're going to go for some real yard aggression where they actually push up and try to stop Complexity from setting up anything before. And yeah, kind of kind of like this with Bolts. Yeah, here we go. Did he see that up on the silo? I don't think he did. He's going straight for it, and Blamef could have just as well been dead. Second fight comes out, and he'll use his smoke. Woody takes down JKS, though. That's at the lobby. But, oh, wow, Vieira is getting charged down through the smoke. Kind of fluffs the molly there. And Woody, wow, he's pushing through. Oh, no. Oh, he takes so much damage, but he won't perish. That is, I mean, that's a calculated risk. Hoping to get a kill, but when you don't, it does feel just a bit silly. So Woody's low on health. Bolts is low on health. And so is Blame F in fairness. Four versus five right here at about a minute left on the clock, and... Once again, Complexity have ramp, but they haven't found a way out. And usually they've gone hell to try and do that hell in the A-bomb site. Now they're going to go for it. Huge off angle here from uh, Pierre, and we'll see if he's going to be able to do anything. Nine rounds into it. Maybe this could be one of the big ones. He actually peeks early, tries to go for the timing hit on that one, and flashes in the eyes of Bolts. He can't see a thing. And then again, neither can Poison. Oh, no! How does that happen? They line up. Blamef must have run into that. Now, it's a one versus three. An absolute miracle for Bolts here in the bomb site. Way back there. He should have been dead immediately. And now, as a tag, he can't even do anything. 20 seconds. He can try and back out, but Woody's going to call him on that already. There's, there's nowhere to go. S attack has to go right into the scope. Has to be a miss shot from Woody, and he will not. It actually looked like he's just he's ending that spray and just falling back behind the silo. And then he picks it up anyway. That is a bit of a miracle. Six to three, tenth round, and I love this strategy. S tag though. Exit again. It's the aim here on MIBR that is so out of control. They're so confident in it. Woody gonna get the kill on Blame as well. The bomb is in the hut down on the ground, and JKS, sole survivor after that one versus five, taking a kill. A lot more if he wants the 
I mean, an unbelievable clutch of his own here. Not going to be possible as Big Black City gets called out. That is, a, that is a really good hold from MIBR. Just some pistols here for complexity. We've got a Deagle on S attack. It's going to be the one win condition, and it is already out of his hands. Woody getting some time with the AWP. Even if it's just against pistols, that's, that's surely got to make it work in terms of finding that final frag. Just when it looked like complexity were could have completely run away with it. The fact that they brought it back to 6-5, I actually think that's pretty impressive for, uh, for MIBR. Not bad at all. Oh, they're getting a lot of control. They're gonna use it to kind of walk down here. Could have, could have maybe flashed their way through as well if they wanted to, but once again, they have a lot of people down below and there's actually no one for MIBR down here to wait for them either. Yeah, Interesting. They've, they've slipped the net. There's nobody from Complexity that is even ready to defend this one. Complexity seemingly expecting a flank or a possible rotation, but as they just hold now in secret, they will take their time. And MIBR still don't have a any kind of defense set up for this lower site, so it, it yeah. will have to be the full retake if they want to try to win this round. We've seen that before in Nuke, where a CT side will give up a 5 on 5 and just save. Yes. But it, it is really uncomfortable when it happens. But if you know too late, if you realize now, wait a minute, they're already down there, they're going to get the bomb down. We can't really do much. I mean, they, they definitely know now. Surely. Oh, they're going to find out. They're going to get the, <laughs> the PA system online. They're kind of setting up for it. They haven't called it off just yet. It's very hard to do this kind of thing. Just very... There's no more grenades left on the complexity side except for the one flashbang on Cold Zero. So that's the one thing that's maybe working for them. They're all going to be retaking from the ramp as well. That seems like a big risk, but a good opening for Vieira. He's going to come in with a kill. S attack will get one in return and Cold as a crossfire. And it's probably more like a three-way crossfire. They are getting slaughtered getting into this bomb site. Woody with the one, but yeah. Okay. Something I've been working on for half a decade. <laughs> It's um, it's gonna be round number thirteen. We've got that AWP. We've still got some rifles on the side of MIBR, but the right, the grenades are lacking a little bit. Oh, Woody, I like this. This is very cool. He's in a dangerous spot, and he can't stay here all day either. And they're kind of toying with him. They're gonna have to make it back eventually. But I like the idea of it. Yeah, that, that was risky. As soon as the smoke fades, he's obviously very vulnerable. But MIBR slowed this one down. They have used. Quite a bit of utility early on, and the default has netted neither team an advantage. So Woody will look for one as he slots himself deeper into the hut. This is such a forward position for an op. If he misses, he is dead, but there is a player next to him in Turtle. And Turtle has been good for two in those kinds of spots way more than you would think he is. Yeah, they've also left Cold alone here, which... I mean, he's got some backup in JKS, I suppose. They're not really directly next to each other. And Cole has the bomb. So this could just end up a really awkward round if that forward position for MIBR suddenly comes into play. They could lose the bomb in a weird spot. Now they're starting to walk back a little bit. That's the tag in JKS. Uh, oh, sorry, Blameth out there, I believe. Nice flick, Woody. That's the bomb dropped even forward. And they have Molotovs to try and guard it with 25 seconds. This is a disaster for Complexity. Oh. Another kill for Woody. Really good movement. It's finally going to be a shot in return for Poison. He takes two, but Woody is on fire in this round. Third kill, taking down JKS and coming back for more. He tags up Blameth. And he knows, just play for time, it's not worth it. He had 10 seconds left, and Poison, he cannot win the round. He goes this, this happens after the, the 5v5 bomb plant. Just proving again what you said. Sometimes it's better to just give it up and win the next round anyway, which they did in spite of, in spite of losing a bunch of rifles and look at the economy for complexity. It might be I could tie up the scoreline right here. They could potentially win the half. Biere, he's had some difficulties at ramp though. And there's a lot of players in front of him, but he does have backup, but he's gonna mow them all down himself. Three kills for him. Woody does chime in with one. And now Blame F, he'll, he'll just look to find some damage somewhere. Oh, the, well done by Biere. 
Round number 15 coming right up. It's JKS running right through. He went for the vent dive earlier, but this time he's going to get flashed through into the bomb site. Excellent committal on that one. He knew that he had to do Even if he dies, he's just done his job anyway. He nearly burned to the Molotov, but he's going to be fine. That is one hell of a play for JKS. He might have just won in the round. It's going to be the four on five retake. The retake smoke comes out the one way. To give him a chance, B.R.A. is going to be setting up a flash. And Turtle, oh, is he going to flash from the t the top of T-Roof? Oh, surely not. Is that gonna... would be so next level. Oh, he could molly back Silo. He could do a um, lot of things, but he's doing none of them. He's walking down. Blame it for timing. He's going to catch him on the ladder. And that is a devastating time to be caught. B.R.A. coming in with a kill. He's going to get another follow-up headshot, but it might have been too late. Woody in a one versus three. And complexity, they don't have to really do In particular, I mean, that, that was one bullet away from, from being a MIBR half right there. I even forgot about that, but you're right. That actually is crazy to imagine. Well, eight, seven, we go into it. MIBR now on the T side. Complexity on the CT side. Did he did he miss the vent? I think he might have done that on purpose. Just to bait. Just how Woody did in the first half. Interesting. Knives the vent. Did he actually knife it? Did yeah, I yeah. Not hear it? Yeah, he, he knifed it. Okay. Just a, uh, just a boomer moment for me then. Woody takes a bit of damage, but they do get down the vent at any Ooh. rate. Turtle with a nice headshot, making sure S attack could not follow his teammate. Poison now trying to tactically fall back and shoot at the same time. They're all coming for him, and he gets a kill. You know what? Well done. Woody, though, with the turnaround. He's not sure what he's getting shot from. Oh, oh but he finds the kill anyway. And taking down Cold Sierra. He looked so confused in that moment, but he still gets the job done. Now it's on JKS. Oh, oh what? He has to flick up his own. The madness continues, and JKS without a kit otherwise maybe he would have just held it but he has to tap it and woody he would have heard that tap he has to go check he nearly oh. dies and he will it's jks one versus three these pistol rounds are absolutely out of control that was so well played from jk yeah woody was it within hearing range of that he has to react he doesn't know if it's a kit or not and if it is and he just plays it up he sort of has to take a look and that gets him killed it's so rough isn't it that's two pistol rounds that could have just as well been for mibr Yes, both one shot away from being MIBR pistol victories. But it will be complexity that takes both in this map. Sets up their economy well. We see that MIBR have given up this round in terms of their buy. Just the P250 on Turtle. And so this is a great round for complexity to farm some cash here. MIBR with a very passive stance. Very well played from JKS at the end of that one, though. <laughs> I know. The, the reposition behind Blue, where he doesn't even actually hold the angle, he crouches, uncrouches, and gets the timing on top of it. That's just, it's just so well done. He's so much at the mercy of getting that kill. Because if that fails, and Woody ducks down and, and stays away, then he has a 10 second weird game that he has to play of defusing and trying to bait him into another fight. It's just a nightmare. So, really well done. Nine to seven. They should have every shot at winning this round. They're not even incentivized in this one to go particularly aggressive against MIBR. They can just wait it out, can't they? Yeah, there's, there's no reason to, to change the setup or anything. JKS has an opportunity to mow them down. He's getting dinked a lot. Oh, they're really getting on him, but Poison and Cold Zero, the cavalry, has arrived. We need the right gun for it, though. Both an AK will do it. Oh, okay, okay. But you have to shoot at a pretty steep angle. Mm, okay. I'm just saying, I've thought about it, and I want to see someone try and do it. Because people escape, right? If they're on playing on that CT side, they just kind of, they're in the box, and then they just fall back, and they do it without any risk. Yeah. But if you start tagging them, you could probably catch them. Yeah. They get slowed down. They have no idea what's happening. Kind of seen a similar thing happen when players exit towards hell. Usually, you could wall, you can actually wall bang the wall that True. they're yeah, running away from. Okay, I'm not saying it's a high percentage thing. Probably one in a middle. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in for those odds. Yeah, I'm willing to do that. Now this is a setup. This is very tough to deal with. An off angle after an off angle. Yeah. Not. Not at the. Yeah, because you. You maybe you, you. get caught off by one of them, but as soon as you clear that out, you think, okay, that's it. Let's go. And then you're not reading the second one. I like that they put the og here too. The better gun for the position. Now JKS, he's the first up. He gets already two. This is already an excellent ramp hold. Now Poison, they don't expect his position whatsoever. That's two lined up for him. And the setup works perfectly for complexity, leaving just B.R.A. down secret by himself. 
and complexity, they're, they're in complete control of the bomb already. Yeah, that that is, well, I want to say it's textbook, but the whole reason that setup worked is because it's really far down into the textbook. You actually yeah. have to look quite far into it before you realize <laughs> what's happening. And you could tell that when their minds went searching for what is the what is the follow-up play to this. Thing about that Woody has in his playbook. We got some utility here. And it looks like oh. they want to challenge ramp once again. I missed this. I like the Oh no, JKS, this could be a nightmare. It probably already is. He's got the org out, but missing a lot of bullets, and they're gonna be a real close. What a shot from poison. It doesn't oh. actually save JKS, but he tries his best. He will eventually go down himself for two on three. But now they have rifles on the side of MIV arm, and they have at least armor on one of them. Woody though, un unarmored at the moment. Bieri is gonna be going down. Now Woody, one versus three. That is still a very, very dangerous round, even though it looks like they're gonna recover it just fine here. Smoke is up, and as the tag will take. Perhaps it's time for a little bit of outside. Still up against that org and the AWP, like you said, recovered earlier. Poison trying to play aggressively. But yeah, maybe some, some. I mean, oh, Poison actually finds that kill on Turtle. That's unfortunate. But I, w I was going to say, that yard uh, idea, given how crisp some of the shots they've been landing at MIBR have been, that seems, like a, that seems like a favorable position for them anyway. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad to rely on the aim just a bit if you are in the MIBR camp. And it does look like they're going for some late outside smokes. Might just be the, the standard cross ones. And notice the drop smoke, so exit can throw both the forward and the back smoke in the typical wall. One man wall. Why not? Oh, blame F. If they come through and looks like they might, Flash doesn't go low enough, so you can still see everything. He's gonna win that fight. He's got that good long range spray to take three in a row, and they just fight him one by one by one. He's happy to take that all day. Yeah, he is very satisfied with that. Woody trying to make something happen, though. He's slotted himself into the credit card. And he comes up with cold. He knows Blame is here. Blame's low. This clock actually does take him down. But with 20 seconds remaining and the bomb out in the middle of the open, this is unlikely to be a victory for Woody. So can he exercise some self-preservation? Yes, tucks himself back into big. Complexity know he's there, so they might go for the late hunt after time. I've got to say, seeing even though that was essentially unwinnable, he just he just rose a little bit in my mind. That is so hard to do. What I mean, the way that he played that, if he sidesteps for even a second, he's just getting shot somewhere. That looked really cool. Not that it didn't change the round at all, but man, and he's top fragging on his team. So pretty cool to see that comeback from him on Ancient, where he was. It has been very rough, and you can you, it kind of shows all over the place, right? In their economy, in complexities, money. They are AK double org AWP on the CT side, but still enough in the back. Woody at it again, his 19th kill of this map. Pretty damn impressive. Blame F. I actually think. Oh, oh wow. He, he probably thought that that was a kill. That's a very dangerous position to use the scope on the org, because if they peek on his right, he can't see it. They just peek inside of the rim of the scope and he's dead, so a bit risky. It is? Oh, wow. They, they've given up all of this ramp space. Blame F will try to recover it, but he's the lone player on B, and he's right behind the control doors. MIBR, they're really taking their time with this one because they don't have any smokes for any of these positions. They could be peeked from any which way, and they have no idea. Yeah, they are <laughs> really nervous about it. Blame F could pop open that door once he has the bomb. If they're in the wrong position, that might just result in a kill, and then it's a four on four with the bomb not being planted. Good kill, great follow up. No one there behind. He's waiting for the door to open. He's looking for the triple. He nearly got it, gets it well, but Woody will take him down. 35 seconds, three versus three. They're gonna pick up that orc surely, eventually. They haven't yet. No, they don't actually push through. That might be a bit risky. They probably need something more than this AWP at the moment. Trying for it here is Cold Zero with the kill. Dropping exit, and the bomb is only just planted. Woody looking for it, goes in and no scopes, JKS. 
He just wants revenge from that earlier round where he couldn't complete the one versus five. And now he's running with a Glock. He's going to take down Poison. He is everywhere, doing absolutely everything. Plays with it just a bit more. Cold. Cannot find him yet. He's right behind the door. Oh, no. I mean, most players will... will just play to try and avoid ever being in those positions to begin with. It, it's... But I guess Brazilian Counter-Strike does also lend itself to being in that position more because of how crazy it gets. But the fact that he won that, is uh, that has to be one of the most incredible plays certainly we've seen in the, sh in the showdown yet. That's actually just so hard to win. 23 and 13. He is... He's dragging his team back into Nuke right now. The best that he can. If they can win this round, they have the economic lead. They can maybe get up to 10. It's a possibility. It's a slow start for them, though, here. They've thrown a couple of nades towards inner. And it might just be the A exec. A few players towards door. They're rethinking the positions a bit for themselves. And it almost feels like they don't know which execute they want to throw. Okay, now they're in position. This will be a top hut molly and a also a molly for the back of the silos. Yep. Flash as well to go down. One of the Molotovs, I think, didn't really land where they wanted it. Fiat coming in with a couple of kills. Actually, make that three. They're trying to see if they can still push this a little bit, lining up for it. That could have been a two for one for Blame if instead. But now it's JKS. And they are tagged up on that T side. So even if it's one versus two, we could maybe find it. There's Bolts hitting the ground immediately. And Woody on the other side. He saved them a number of times already. But could they call his number again is the big question. He's got an HE grenade. Not worried about that right now. He's just playing to try and find out where JKS is actually coming from. He doesn't have a kit at the moment picked up either. That's a bit awkward, so he can't spend all day doing this. And now he has to make some noise running out into the bomb site. And Woody hiding for it. Oh, and he's still going to be found. He couldn't get back around the corner in time. There's the kit picked up, and he's going to just barely find it. He is on that bomb with no more than half a second. Oh, oh no! My VR so far. Complexity, though, still have the lead. They are still the ones in control, especially given the fact that they are on the CT side of their map pick. All signs are pointing to complexity winning this one, but somehow I have a feeling that we're going to keep getting some competitive rounds moving forward. I think especially the economy is going to be important for the rest of it. If, if they can keep it at, at you know, for mass buys and at that level, MIBR for the foreseeable future, then that's going to just make such a big difference. Down below, just one player on that MIBR. I actually got a little bit of a double presence over there. The rest of them might be expecting some sort of aggressive push into hot right now. They're certainly set up for, uh, for some sort of CT aggression here. Or well, they were. Yeah, you can see Exit is he's real paranoid. Doesn't mean someone's not out to get him. Definitely worried about it. Woody throwing a little bit of a fake flash towards hell right there. That might catch complexity in rotation, but Blame Map is here. But what an entry shot from Biere. Exactly what they needed. Dispatches the one upgraded gun. Now Poison just being a nuisance on those stairs. And he's finally taken down too. Actually, even in that moment, when, when Biere picks up the first kill, he goes to find to fight Poison. When he doesn't get the couple of dinks, he moves forward and lets Woody take the fight. So he just cl keeps clearing the space because he doesn't want to be in the crossfire. I mean, they're only against pistols, so I guess that wasn't the most high intensity moment. But that's that's a pretty good read into how much they trust each other because he has to trust that Woody will just take care of that while he's clearing the space in front of him. It's actually cool to see. Yeah, and simultaneously, his teammates were coming down right. ramp. So they would have been able to pincer anybody that's on the B side too. It, it's, yeah, that was a good brief instance of some nice mac macro understanding. Okay, turtle might die. Oh no, okay. Almost don't stab pad because you might die, and that's what happened. Double org, couple of M4s, actually three of them. No AWP on the side of poison. 13 to 10, and this is surely one of the pivotal rounds here. Woody is. I wonder if he made enough noise that Blamef would have heard it all the way down. Might be able to guess anyway, but he is really deep down there. Yep, JKS is being called back now to see if he could meet Woody down below. 
taking a lot of position. JKS is rotated off ramp. And at the moment, there, there's no ramp defense for complexity. If MIBR were to just pinch the lower site, th that would be free for the taking. So complexity, they go for the reboost, so Poison will be able to spot that. But it's going to take him some time to get there. Yeah, making his way out. Still in the vent, waiting is Woody. He's just kind of in a bit of a holding pattern at the moment. And they're creeping outside, so they're they're kind of gonna they're kind of gonna follow what you were saying earlier. That B bomb side, they kind of feel it, making a bit of noise running though. And again, blame if this time he could definitely hear it, and now he he knows. But as long as they're holding the vent, that could be really tricky. Are they gonna keep doing that, or will they just go for it? Exit down here as well. 25 seconds on the clock. That window has been broken up and complexity should know what's coming. Are they in a position to defend it? Wallbang not doing enough there. JKS will get a kill. Poison on the follow-up. They finally take it back and now JKS and Poison both fall. That bomb plant a little bit delayed and getting shot at the back. They just can't find the space for it. Eight seconds on the clock and that is really unfortunate i think the two for two trade getting into the bomb site probably was okay but they just once they got on the site they then were suddenly pinched into it yeah they could never really get that that little bit of space unfortunate but not for complexity 14 to 10 two rounds away from bringing us onto a third map on overpass which given the crazy plays that we've seen in the series so far i'm all for it yes. let's see that third map yeah, it's been, it's been an exciting series thus far. The map two is not over just yet. Woody going for a contact play at the ramp. JKS still deciding on what position he wants to play. Ooh, nice flash right in the face. It does look like they're peeling off the ramp now. Woody's not favoring that engagement anymore. JKS is looking hell. Almost looked like he was worried about someone walking out there that quickly, which... I think it's surprising. Setting up for that squeak door. And this looks like it's going to be real explosive. They're getting really deep in here. This is uncommon. Normally, you just can't walk the entire team onto the A-bomb side, but that's what they're doing. Vieta coming up with a kill. It's the MAC-10 to lead the charge, and Cold Sierra is going to get traded as well. They just keep going. Turtle with a double Woody to take down Blamef. They, <laughs> they got away with so much in that round. That was, an, that was a really surprising contact kind of explode coming out from MMBR. They even threw the higher flash onto the rafters so that the player that was kind of at the Mustang position was was just full whited, I'm, I'm quite certain. I'd love to see that from his perspective uh, to see how BR got that first opener because he was definitely not favored in terms of the firepower given that he was running in with a MAC-10. But either way, MIBR will put an 11th on the board and complexity had a few players at A, but it's it just MIBR are so, like, when they're out, they are just ready to go, and they are so fierce in those fights. Is yeah, JKS has got the 1M4. Pistols on the rest. 14-11 scoreline in round number 26. Woody on that AWG. Didn't get to see much of it on Ancient. He's made up for it in ridiculous fashion on this map. He's been an outright star. Yeah, I'm actually just so impressed. And the calling hasn't, hasn't been too bad either. A lot of value for Woody right now. And it, it, we've got a fight towards Lobby. JKS with the lone rifle, but Turtle takes him down. He's had a quiet game. A little slow to start, but such is the na nature of a Turtle, I suppose. Still wins the race. Is that the metaphor that we're going for here? It is. It is. Because MIBR are still fighting. Getting two kills in this one, including that M4 on JKS. So, took a bit of damage on bolts. They'll be fine with that. Exit. Yeah, he reads that. He sees it coming. Good little angle. And we'll take down Poison. Cold Zero and Blame F now. The last two remaining. 14-12, with complexity's money where it is, they don't have to misstep a lot here for, for things to turn out really badly. No one on the bomb side, so it might be I'm being careful though. Checking everything. It's still early days in the Woody and Turtle experiment for MIBR, but as it stands, I can say that 
I'm a bit of a fan of it. Yell and Shiz were integral pieces to this lineup. Like, very solid. Frequently, yeah. frequently, actually, the top fraggers in a lot of their games. So, to me, this came as a huge surprise. The the fact that they would get rid of them. And I, I'm, I've, been, I've been impressed with how well Woody has played on this map. Map 1, Turtle was just decimating people, too. Yeah. The entries on the B-bomb side, or even in, in as the second man sometimes, just impressive. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it, too, I've got to say. A lot to work with right here. And again, we kind of introduced this whole series, talking a little bit about the... Yeah, not getting away with it. <laughs> we introduced all the thing talking about talent in the Brazilian scene, obviously tied to how many of... Uh, as long as possible. Yeah. And trying to build are, on that. They're, they're making it look good right now for themselves. They absolutely are. 27th round. M4 on Cold Zero. He swings so wide behind that one. He's still going to get Bieri, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. They're right behind there. They should know. Yeah, and they're going to find him with a shot through the box. You've got to appreciate that. Uh, I mean, as an attempt from Cold, I still think it's really cool. I, li I like to see that kind of thing, but maybe not the payoff they were looking for. That was so close to being great. Yeah. But it just, just missed the mark on the, the second frag. Still provides the team a lot of information, and with it, they go for a lobby crunch. Complexity are in control of a lot of space right now, and they know that MIBR has taken this outer yard. Blame F, the sole member that remains towards outside, you should be able to hear him. Definitely hears the scope. Yep, that is a tell. Blame F. Just the shoulder. They could probably guess what's coming next, seeing them out in yard, knowing they're not in, not in lobby. It's not a hard puzzle to solve. This could be a bit scary with the setup down here at the B-bomb site. If they drop the bomb and it falls into the site, they have to commit to it. They might have to do that anyway in great timing for JK, as now they're pushing on bolts with the kill, but he's going to get traded. Poison gets a chance to reload that P250. 25 seconds left. It's JKS with the kill and Woody, and this is a disaster for MIBR. Exit on his own. 20 seconds, one versus two, and he's very, very low on health. I don't think there's a way out this time. The bomb is just so far away up in that window room, in the control room. I don't think he can actually get there even in time. So what a devastating turn of events here. A nice stack onto the B-bomb side for complexity, and they're going to get to 15 rounds. Yeah, just missed the mark a little bit there, MIBR. But I don't know. We're in... What is this, like, something, something creek? Oh, it could be America. Three feet, then. I was going to say three yeah. feet. I don't know what that is, but I'll <laughs> take your word for it. Half as tall as Blonders. <laughs> All right. That seems more reasonable. Three meters pretty is a big yes, a lot. power with a fire extinguisher. You might not reach it. I've yet to use one. Haven't had to yet, so hopefully never will. 28th round here. AK stolen on the side of the CTs. Complexity just one good opening. Anything right now in their favor. Poison. I love this. Look at how much they know. Just like last round, they have all the map control complexity. Very ready to fight for that space. We see the eggs that come out once again. S attack on top of the hut, though. Moe's down two along with Cold. And this is such a hard in now for MIBR. I don't know how you could do this right now. They're just in a lot of trouble here. Exit and Woody going to get a couple of kills, but Woody is on his own. and he